hello 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 welcome in everybody this is going to be my first pokemon unite video and it's going to be a tier list first we're going to go through what i define as an s a b and c tier and then we're going to go through each individual pokemon and i'm going to list them and then give it like a little brief description as to why i think they're why they think they belong in that section first thing is s tier s tier is the the tier that i think are broken pokemon these are the Pokemon that I think need a nerf as soon as possible. Um, a is the optimal Pokemon. These are the Pokemon I think aren't quite an S tier, but they also deserve a slight nerf. B, the balanced Pokemon, the letter suits it. These are the Pokemon I think they don't need any adjustments. They're perfectly fine the way they are. They play well, uh, everything feels just right. And the C tier are the okay Pokemon that I think are, are actually good in a lot of situations, but I think they could use a little bit of a buff just so they can compete or be a little bit more in the balanced area. First Pokemon that we're going to talk about in the S tier is going to be Gengar. Gengar is absolutely broken in my mind. He can put out a lot of damage. And it seems like he can always use his hex to get away. And there's not a lot of downside to having a Gengar on your team. Second, second Pokemon on here, Cramorant. I've looked at a lot of tier lists and I don't see Cramorant in the S tier and I think that's a mistake. Cramorant is absolutely 100% annoying to deal with. He has a move that pushes everything up. You're stuck in the air easily easily can be taken down by a supporting character or a supporting pokemon that you have on your team and if not it does massive amount of damage third and final s tier pokemon lucario lucario kind of on the same grounds as gengar he can put a lot of damage out and it seems like he can always just get away with a little bit of help and he's super, he's super fast in my opinion. Um, much faster than I think Lucario should be. Next, we're gonna talk about the A tiers. And the first on my list is Zeraora. Zeraora, pretty strong Pokemon. Relatively, uh, he almost made it into the balance tier, to be honest. It's just his discharge. His discharge ability is just ridiculously strong. Next on the list is Pikachu. I've seen Pikachu a lot in the S tiers. I don't quite think Pikachu's in an S tier. I think he's I think he's leaning toward the S tier, but here's what sets Pikachu apart from the others is Pikachu's leveling is much easier. Next up is Crustle. Crustle, super strong, has that wall ability, can just block people, people away. You can't even get around it. The only way you can get I think you can get away from it is the eject button and he's able to stun keep people and keep people like incapacitated for far too long nine tails nine tails the freezing ability the incapacitation the stopping the all of that is just ridiculously ridiculously annoying to deal with but it's not overpowered and the last on this list is absol absol is is really strong uh can put out massive amounts of damage it's really quick. Uh, either one of those would need to be nerfed, I think, to, to put it more in the balance category. That concludes the A, A portion of the list. Next, we're on to the B, the balance. Snorlax, then Talonflame, Wigglytuff, Garchomp, Cinderace, Greninja, Eldegoth, Mr. Mime. That concludes the B portion of the list. Next, we're gonna hit the C. These are the ones that I think that need something. First on the list, Slowbro. I hear Slowbro is pretty good. Um, I haven't really seen it. I think the strongest thing that Slowbro has is I think Telekinesis. Holds holds Pokemon up in the air. Next on the list, Charizard. Charizard absolutely can, can be a powerhouse once you get to Charizard, but I think it just takes so long to get to the moves that you need. Next, Venusaur. Venusaur, again, really strong, really strong Pokemon, I think. Um, it's not a tank, even though he looks looks more like a tank Pokemon ranged attacker. So you need to really focus on that. 
but even with that, I still don't think he does much, as much damage. And the last on the list of everything, Machamp. Machamp, if he gets your hands on you, he, you are done. He's gonna rip you apart, but I just don't think he has enough of speed. And that's my tier list. If you, if you agree with it, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you disagree with it, let me know down in the comments. Or you can let me know in my Discord. Link will be in the description. See you next time. Bye.